Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. This crochet hook holder roll stores lots of crochet hooks safely, even a pair of scissors, and you simply roll it up and you have your crochet hook stored safely. It makes a fantastic gift. This pattern is part of a very special event called the Advent Calendar Crochet Along. It has a mystery effect to it because you don't know which pattern will be published each day. There will be 24 free crochet patterns out of 30. You can get the entire 30 crochet patterns in an ebook. It's all last minute gift ideas. If you would like to get the ebook, check the link down below in the description or my website. The entire event is sponsored by Lion Brand. So let's get started with today's quick crochet pattern. In order to crochet the crochet hook roll, you will need some worsted acrylic yarn. I'm using Lion Brand's Vana's Choice in silver blue and colonial blue. I'm also using a G plus crochet hook. Chain 29 and then starting from the second chain from the hook, crochet one single crochet per chain. Then turn, you will end up with 28 stitches, turn and chain two. Now you're gonna crochet linked crochet stitches. Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull through. The linked crochet stitches we're doing is linked double crochet. So this is your yarn over for the double crochet, but it's linked. So now insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That is your first linked double crochet stitch. Now insert your hook into this horizontal bar, yarn over and pull through. Now insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and finish it up like a normal double crochet. Now continue on until the end of the row. Continue this pattern by having one single crochet row, one linked double crochet row. Repeat this section 12 times, both of those rows together. Then you will slip stitch to the center, then chain 51 and crochet one single crochet per chain, starting from the second chain from the hook until the end. You will have 50 single crochet stitches and then finish up by slip stitching till the end. For the little flap on the top, you're going to chain six and then starting from the second chain from the hook, one single crochet per chain. That means five single crochets, then turn and do the linked double crochet stitches. So exactly like this piece, just much thinner. Once you're done with this and you have the same amount, you're going to sew it onto the top so that way you can flip it over. That allows you to make sure that your hooks do not fall out. Then we need to do the part that is actually for your hooks. You're going to chain 15, starting from the second chain from the hook, crochet one single crochet per stitch, then turn. So you will end up with 14 stitches per row. Then you're gonna crochet one stitch per stitch for 33 rows. Then you will turn and only crochet seven stitches back and forth for eight rows. That allows you to have a little bit of a pocket right here. Now it's time to sew everything together. So how you're going to do that is you're going to simply sew this piece to the top. That's all you're going to do right there. For this piece right here, I would recommend starting on one side and then sewing it on like this. Okay, so you're going to make little pockets where your hooks fit into. Now, how many pockets you're going to do that it all depends on what hooks you're going to use. So I like using these bigger hooks, which are furls hooks. So my pockets will be a little bit bigger. So which means when I put my hook in here and then adjust it, I will make sure that the next piece that needs to be sewn on is right here. And then you then look for the next hook and then you make a line over there. Now you can sew this on, but you can also glue this on if you wish. Once you're done making your little pockets, you have to simply all the way around here on three edges. So that way you have a little bit of a pocket here where you can put your pair of scissors or something. Once you're done sewing it on, it is ready to go to use. You have a few different choices to get this pattern in a written format. Number one is my website. It does have ads, but you can view the pattern for free. Number two is you can get it as a PDF. 
through Ravelry or Etsy. It's ad free and printer friendly. Number three is my membership. And you're not only going to get this pattern ad free and printer friendly, but you also get all my other patterns in a vault, easy to access, printer friendly and ad free. And number four is the ebook that includes all 30 last minute gift idea patterns. All 30 come with videos and the entire ebook is a PDF. It's easy to print out and it's ad free. In fact, it even includes the feature that you can click in a table of content and jump right to the pattern. So four different options for you to get this pattern in a written format. Which one will you choose? Be sure to like, comment and share this video. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I'm publishing a video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. You're gonna want to, I promise you do.